Welcome to Mindly Way, where we explore life philosophies to grow and find the right path. Get ready to listen for an inner journey. If you declare that you will or I will have anything, it remains in the future because the cosmos absorbs your thoughts and another reason to maintain a cheerful mental environment is that it is simpler to think in positive affirmations when you are feeling good. Consider it this way. Every thought you have matters, so don't squander your valuable thoughts. Words have the power to literally grant you what you say you desire every time. Every positive thinking attracts good into your life. Every negative idea keeps good at arm's length. How many times in your life have you come close to obtaining something excellent only to have it snatched away at the last minute? If you could recall your state of mind at those moments, you would know why. An abundance of negative ideas create an obstacle to positive affirmations. Saying things like I don't want to be sick anymore or I accept perfect health now is not an affirmation for good health. You have to be clear about what you want. If you want a new car, say something like I have a beautiful new car that suits all my needs. You won't get a wonderful new car because you aren't clear. And even if you do get a new car soon, you'll probably hate it because that's what you've been stating. Some people say that life is terrible, which is a terrible affirmation. Can you imagine the experiences that life will bring? However, life isn't bad. Rather, it's your thoughts that are bad. When you feel bad, nothing good can happen to you. Don't waste time defending your limitations. Don't blame people for your issues. Instead, take responsibility for your actions, poor relationships, sickness, poverty, etc. The more you discuss a problem, the more entrenched it becomes. It's simply more time wasted. Everybody is subject to the law of their own consciousness and thoughts and only they can draw particular experiences into their lives by thinking in certain ways. If you alter your thought process, everything in your life will change as well. You'll be astounded and thrilled to discover how individuals arrange objects and alter situations. Blame is just another negative affirmation. Instead, learn to transform your negative thoughts into positive ones. For example, I hate my body, but now I love and appreciate it. I never have enough money, or money flows into my life abundantly. I'm sick of being sick, or I allow my body to return to its natural vibrant health. I'm too fat, or I honor my body and take good care of it. I'm not creative, but I'm discovering talents I never knew I had. I'm stuck in a terrible job, but wonderful new doors are opening for me all the time. I'm not good enough, or I'm in the process of positive changes, and I deserve the best. This does not mean for you to be frightened of every thought you think, because when you first begin to make the change over and really pay attention to your thoughts, you will be horrified to realize how negative much of your thinking has been. So when you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought. I no longer choose to think that way, then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can remember. You want to feel good as much as possible. Thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, and guilt make you feel miserable. And that is a habit you really want to release. Affirmations are solutions that will replace whatever problem you might have whenever you have a problem. Repeat over and over all as well. Everything is working out for my highest good out of this situation. Only good will come and I am safe. This simple affirmation will work miracles in your life. I would also like to suggest that you do not share your affirmations with others who may, if on the other hand, you feed a junk food, drink a lot of diet soda, or a couch potato, sleep less, and are always grumpy and complaining, then your body is working against you and in an unfavorable environment, which is why it's no surprise that your body isn't as healthy as you would like it to be. This does not mean for you to be frightened of every thought you think, because when you first begin to make the change over and really pay attention to your thoughts, you will be horrified to realize how negative much of your thinking has been. So when you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought, I no longer choose to think that way, then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can remember. You want to feel good as much as possible. Thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, and guilt make you feel miserable. And that is a habit you really want to release. Affirmations are solutions that will replace whatever problem you might have whenever you have a problem. Repeat over and over all as well. Everything is working out for my highest good out of this situation. Only good will come, and I am safe. This simple affirmation will work miracles in your life. I would also like to suggest that you do not share your affirmations with others who may, if on the other hand, you feed a junk food, drink a lot of diet soda, or a couch potato, sleep less, and are always grumpy and complaining. Then your body is working against you and in an unfavorable environment, which is why it's no surprise that your body isn't as healthy as you would like it to be. Who put these ideas when you are just getting started? 
it is best to keep your thinking to yourself until you have achieved your desired results. Then friends will say, oh, your life is changing so much, you're so different. What have you been doing? And then you can explain, go over this section several times until you really get the principles and can live them. Also zero in on the sections that may have the most meaning to you and practice the affirmations. And remember to make up affirmations of your own and the first affirmations for you to use right now are I can do it, I can feel good about myself. I can make positive changes in my life. Let's talk about health. If you want to create better health in your body, there are definitely some things you must not do. You must not get angry at your body for any reason. Anger is another affirmation. And it is telling your body that you hate it or hate parts of it. Your body knows how to heal itself if you feed it healthy foods and drinks. Exercise. Get. Sleep. And think positively. Good health is a result of love and appreciation. You should give your body as much love as you can by talking to it, petting it, and stroking it. If any part of your body is ill, treat it like a small child by showing it how much you care and that you are doing everything within your power to help it recover quickly. If you are ill, you should do more than just visit your doctor and get medication for your symptoms. You should educate yourself about health. The more you know, the easier it will be to take care of your body. You don't have to choose to feel helpless. Instead, you can visit a health food store and pick up one of the many excellent books that teach you how to maintain your health. You can see a nutritionist to have a diet tailored to your needs. Or you can see a holistic health practitioner to establish a happy, healthy mental environment. Participate voluntarily in your own health plan. The body, like everything else in life, is a mirror of our inner ideas and beliefs. And I firmly think that we are the cause of every alleged ailment in our bodies. If we only take the time to listen, the body is always speaking to us. Every single cell in your body reacts to every single thought you have and every single word you say. Constant ways of speaking and thinking result in postures and physical activities that either relieve or worsen illnesses that was not produced by the individual with a constant frown. It was not produced by happy, loving thoughts. The features and bodies of the elderly so obviously reflect the lifetime of thought patterns. How will you look when you are elderly? Learn to accept that your life is not a series of random events, but a pathway of awakening. If every day is an awakening, you will never grow old. You will just keep growing. Imagine the day you turn 49 as the infancy of another life, a woman today who reaches the age 50 and remains free of cancer and heart disease, can expect to see her 92nd birthday. You and only you have the ability to customize your own life cycle. So change your thinking now and get going. You are here for a very important reason. And all you need is available to you. You can create thoughts that create a mental atmosphere that contributes to illness, or you can choose to think thoughts that create a healthy atmosphere both within you and around you. Lewis Hay has etched on this fact many times. Keep thinking positive thoughts and have positive affirmations in life. Having positive thoughts about something goes a long way. Think of it like this if you get something you want or achieve something you want and you don't have positive affirmations and thoughts regarding said thing at one point you will begin to hate it be it a car, new house, a job, anything so having positive mindset is the key to gaining happiness and then retaining happiness. Well I hope you guys enjoyed the video and do make sure to share your thoughts with us in the comment section.